Welcome back. I turned off FTL. You probably noticed. Because we're going to play something else. Blue screen of of numbers. That's funny. Uh, oh, that's that's their actual start. That's the actual screen. Start it's not some screen. kind of weird error. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna get this ready for you guys to see. Actually, wait. I wanna. Oh. Probably hearing it. Jack, did you know I just beat FTL? I, I didn't know you just beat FTL. I just wanna make sure you knew that. I knew that. <laughs> I knew that, Rich. Don't you worry about nothing. And, by the way, you did great. Thank you. You did a great job. You guys probably want to see what we're playing. They're all, you know what? They're all going nuts for Pictionary. It's not going to happen. Not going to happen tonight. Pictionary is going to be its own special thing. We're going to play Teleglitch. Jack has been playing Teleglitch and loves the shit out of it. And I'm going to turn the volume down because it gets a little... Gets a little loud. Hold on. Uh, I do want it full screen though. There we go. It's the same for you guys, but. Uh, all right. We're gonna play Teleglitch. Jack loves Teleglitch. It's a Tele -glitch. game. Teleglitch is very similar to another game, uh, mechanic wise, uh, Binding of Isaac. Oh, okay. In which, you know, it's a twin stick shooter. But it's set on an alien planet after some uh, some zombies and some apocalypse happens with teleporters. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty awesome. Also, you can have scan lines if you want. Apocalypse with teleporters? You'll see. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to not do any of that. You know what? You'll see. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Working on a master teleporter that could transport you anywhere, unlimited distance. Of course, we thought it was a minor glitch, but it quickly turned into a nightmare! The facility AI became aggressive and the military robots turned on us. The space of the complex started warping, <coughs> rooms and hallways would randomly reorganize themselves, as if following some sort of twisted pattern. I decided to seal myself in here and wait for help. I've been hiding out here for weeks, but nobody came, and I am running out of food. My only chance is to use the regular teleporters of the facility to get to the master teleporter and then teleport myself back to Earth. So it's all procedurally generated. Oh, that's neat. Yep. And you're this little guy. The And, you know, obviously twin stick. Oh, you know what? There's something I need to do. There's an option that I find really annoying, which is this uh, adaptive zoom. We're going to turn that off. So now I'm a little further away, which sucks, but the adaptive zoom can really fuck with you. So, you know, twin stick shooter. One right stick aims, left stick moves you. Uh, you start off with a gun. If you see up here, I have my 9mm pistol. These are bombs, and this is an empty can. And there's crafting. If you see here, two bombs can make a more powerful bomb, right? Okay. So you can craft stuff, so you have to kind of pick through every room and craft stuff. To shoot, you hold down the left trigger and aim with the right, and I see that little line. Now you can shoot, but of course, bullets are very precious, so we, we don't want to waste them. You could also stab people if you just press the right trigger without holding down the left trigger. Is this a roguelike? This is a roguelike. You have to beat it in one life. Because that's the definition of roguelike! <laughs> you fucks. Um... Oh. So this guy I can take on... I'm just going to... I can get away with stabbing. Ammo's the thing, I'm assuming, then? A ammo is very important. Just facing one enemy... Oh, fuck. So the chat said it's like Doom and Descent had a baby. <laughs> yeah, nice. I'll, I'll, agree, I'll agree with that. Oh. See, and, like you see that little glowing thing, so that yeah. means that's an item. I can pick that up. So that was something, I don't know why. Also, there is no music in the game. Uh, there's just the sound effects, and it's very eerie to play. Okay. Very creepy. That looks neat. Fuck. Fuck. 
Missed. Also, if you notice, like when I shoot, like like the, it kind of warps a little bit. Like the world warps and the colors warp. It's really neat. Uh, it it has a really neat aesthetic to it. So I've been really enjoying playing it. That I wasted bullets. I'm low on health. That I kind of fucked that up, but that's fine. So you're doing terrible. I'm doing pretty terrible, but I'm also pretty just new at the game in general. So. It's like spiders, like or frog monsters. What kind of I monster? I think they're is they're that? like mutants. Like they're multi-legged mutants okay. is what I want to say. And because I used my guns, they can hear me now. Ah, no. So they're coming after me from other rooms. So it's a survivalist kind of thing. Very survivalist, very... Ooh. Do you get any more killing? Like an FTL, you need the scrap. No, no, it's all about survival. Sometimes they'll drop like a can of meat that you can eat. Okay. Um, so also, you'll notice my, my menu here. You can cycle through, but you can also reorganize very easily. <laughs> so, like, I like to put, you know, you can you can kind of do that to reorganize. Okay, okay. Um, so I got my shotgun now, which is great. Wait till I get some more stuff, and I'll show you, like, some of the crafting options. It's really neat. Dr. J asks, uh, when's the next prereq going to be up? Anytime soon? It will be up soon. I was just talking to Jay about scheduling. <clears throat> and I am going to, I'm going to really push out the edit. Uh, so hopefully I can have that edited. Will it be down um, later tonight? Pre-rec? Yeah. Absolutely, I'm editing it right now. While you're playing the game? While I'm playing the game. I don't believe you. No, you shouldn't. <laughs> but seriously, will it be done later tonight? No. I'm going to have to fire you again. Ah, Jay. <laughs> you can, I'll just keep coming back. <laughs> uh, it will not be done. Ooh, nice. Lots of cans of meat. Need the, need I, I look forward to seeing it, I will say, after seeing some of the gameplay. <laughs> Every, everybody, Jack needs that meat. Thank you, Rich. Uh, <laughs> I, do. I do need that meat. And so, like, you'll notice I just ate a canned meat. Yeah, an empty can. Now I have an empty can. I can't craft anything out of that yet, but... Um, yeah, no, I'm... So far, I'm... All the footage is in. I've started editing. I may be... I'm maybe 10% done with the edit. But, mm. you know, like, I, I have all of the stuff in. I'm not 10% done. Holy there is a lot to edit. edit. There is a lot. Rich and I <laughs> had one of our longest conversations ever. Make it two parts. <laughs> why not? Because why is, not? Is, no, seriously, is there enough to say to merit that? We'll see. Okay. We'll see. I, there was a couple... What, what video... Oh, I have an extra bit of the guacamole that I might want to put up as a, as a standalone. Just a funny, like, off bit. Yeah. Okay, so do you see these colors over here on the left? Yeah. That is the tele glitch. That's leftover goop from the teleporters. If you walk into that, you die. Oh, okay. So right now it's fenced off, and this will just tell you, like, oh, tele glitch, space time anomaly, right? These blobs start showing up, and, and if you walk into them, you're dead instantly. Okay. The neat thing is, you can, uh, like, uh,. What do you call... Uh, you can matador the zombies into them. Come here. Here's a light. Oh. Is the zombie something else, or is, are you basically referring to those things? I think they're all just kind of zombies. Okay. So, But yes, I'm looking forward to editing the new episode. Um, which and I talked for a while. And so far, I think it's funny... The one, the one, sp not spoiler, I, I will not spoil the review, the one thing I will say, the thing that's hard about editing this one, is Rich and I did not play the game together here at the studio. We played at our houses separately, in the dark, with headphones on to make sure we got the full alien experience. Yeah. yeah. And so there's no, you know, there's none of that footage to cut to of us, you know, playing the game together. And so that makes editing a little harder. Somebody wants to know what the ending to Alien Isolation is. <laughs> we can't tell you that. That's spoiler. Oh, so here we go. Here's some stuff. I'm not going to craft this, but... So, like, I could craft it. I have nails and bombs, so I could craft a nail bomb. Mm -hmm. Or nail ammo. So, there's neat stuff. Okay. Once, once you start getting more and more stuff, you can... Yeah, there's some... There's some Jack, apparently I'm winning. You're winning? Uh, Rich is in the lead with ten votes. W for what? I have no idea. But I'm winning, and that's always good, right? What do you... I don't know. 
I mean, yeah, it's good for you. The I'm chat says I'm in the lead with 10 votes. Congratulations. Thank you. I, I worked really hard for that thing that got votes. <laughs> gonna eat a meat. Oh, now, here's a great thing. So I can mush my empty cans into a plate. And I want to do that. You'll see why in a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, get that. Great. Uh, I, I mean, I'm really happy for you, Rich. I think you you deserve to win. <laughs> and I think I think it couldn't happen to a better guy. Ooh, a tube. Nice. Oh, the poll is who has the best laugh. Oh, it's definitely rich. Why? Why is that even a poll? That's yeah. Ho, ho That's asked, a fact, not a, an opinion. <laughs> ho ass ho voted for Jay, and I think ho ass ho is just mad that they died in my first FTL run tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Great. So much like uh, much like other games we played, this is the teleporter room. I like the look. And you get to choose your fate. You know, whether you, which one you go to. I want to. I want to clear the room before I go in there. Yeah, yeah, the look is really neat. The world is really neat. I love how they do the shadow thing. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's top down, like the shadows move really weird. It, it, it gives a really eerie vibe to everything. Mike just came in, stared at the screen, and, and, and had like a funny look on his face and walked away. Yes. 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 Um, that's kind of expected when Mike looks at any video game. This is a weirder one. So I expect I expect you to look at this and, and be weirded out, Mike. You don't like it? No, Mike doesn't like it. That's his review of this game. <laughs> so Rich kicked me off the ship and I still think he has the better laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I I apologize. Rich gave I you an honorable Michael. discharge. Yes, honorable. Honorable discharge. Honorable discharge. I gave you your own ship. That's true. Yeah. That's true. You 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 did not destroy the ship, you just beat it. So I guess what you're what you mean to say is thank you, Rich. <laughs> for giving me my own ship. Grades. I have not gotten any kind of Dick the Birthday Boy poster in any kind of mail. There's a Dick the Birthday Boy Somebody poster. says they sent me one. We have no, uh, yeah. When's the last time you guys got the mail? That's the real question. <laughs> that last ship, the first ship. Rich, Rich opened the doors and watched me suffocate. <laughs> and then he's got a crying face. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was nothing personal. When Rich is captain, he needs to worry about not only each individual crew member, but the, the ship as an entirety, and the mission. No, I did that because I was pissed off at the game. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. You were forfeiting. You fuck. I was, the, I was ready to defend you. Oh, you were totally wrong. Your you actions as captain. That. That, was, that was reprehensible. <laughs> The mission comes above all else, Rich. In Star was, Trek. I was burning to death and I had no way to fix things. <laughs> it, was, it was a lost cause. Sure. Rich passed the officer test quicker than Troy did. What's the officer test? Remember, remember when she was like taking the, the, the command test on the holodeck? And no, I don't. It was like that was like the B story for that episode. In the end, she realized, oh, she had to send somebody to death so everybody oh, else could live. Oh, sure. To, she had to send Jordy into the radioactive tube. Sure, to pre yeah, okay. Did she fail the test, or did she? Wait? At the very end, she got it. Oh, okay. After she re realized she had to murder people. Oh. God damn it! God damn it! Losing, all, losing all, too much health on this first level here. As Captain Picard should have done at the end of Nemesis. <laughs> I'll do it myself. I'm 79 years old. <laughs> aren't I the aren't I the best one to go over I, here? I have an invincible android and an insane Klingon warrior, but I think I'm the best man to fight <laughs> all of the Remans. <laughs> 
an invincible android. That's the truth. He has an invincible android. Alright. Alright, where am I going? Where am I going, Rich? I don't know. You don't know. I haven't played this fucking game. Losing health. I did it. Oh. Ooh. So don't go into this. That's the telling witch. Rich would kill Jordy in five seconds. <laughs> oh. Oh, damn. If it meant saving the ship. If it meant saving the ship, but I like Jordy. You know what? I think Jordy. Remember, like all those weird ass Jordy storylines where it was all about him getting ladies, and it's just yeah. like we don't care about that. We... I remember the one where he turned into a, like a a chameleon creature. What? He started turning into like an invisible monster. Oh, I don't know if I remember that. Some away mission he was on years ago, and apparently infected and infected him with something that was just. Just manifesting now. Oh, sure, sure, yeah. The, the convenience. This happened a long time ago. Damn, okay. You know, there's just so many episodes. They all blur together. Not all. Some of them. Some of them blur together. Teleglitchin! They all devolve. No, no, that wasn't the episode. The, the one with devolving people, that was the Voyager episode where they went past warp 10. And for some reason, when you go past warp 10, you devolve into a salamander. <laughs> like, like, uh, um, uh, what, what's his face? What was the pilot's name? I think Tom Paris? Tom Paris. And, and Janeway went in an experimental shuttlecraft, and they went past warp 10. And when they came back, they, they eventually turned into salamanders, and they beamed themselves down into, like, a swamp planet, and they had salamander babies. Oh, that's right! <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that! Yeah. So uh, never never go past warp 10, or salamander you'll turn into babies. a salamander. That's right! <laughs> oh my god... What kind of fucked up show is that? Jordy was mutated into a chameleon man. That's different. <laughs> it's different. Way different. That's way different. I need to head back now. Here's my little running guy. He's gonna run all the way over here. I don't check the P.O. box. That's, that's Jesse's job. Lay <laughs> off, man. Right? We're at the mercy. We're at the mercy of our boss, Jesse. <laughs> Where am I going? Oh, here, okay. Doop, 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 doop. Here's my little walking man. He's gonna walk, doop, 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 doop. Gonna walk, doop, 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 doop. Yeah. Question, how do I quote people in chat? I don't know, use quotation marks or some shit. That's a, you know what? That's a good <laughs> question. <laughs> You could probably look it up. Oh, to pick up mail. Apparently, somebody's screaming that they sent me something in the mail. I don't know. One of the old old XCOM games and a poster. Yeah. Where is it, Jesse? When did they send it? When when did you send it? I'm waiting for a response. Okay. They have not they have not got back to me yet. All right, Rich. They're saying you have the Dick the Birthday Boy poster in your house. There is apparently a Dick the Birthday Boy poster poster. I, I, I'm not saying anything. Rich? Yeah. Do you think we should go to a plankton farm, which is an abandoned sector, mm -hmm. or the military biology sector? What are the pros and cons? I have no idea. Plankton. 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 Military biology sector. God damn it, no, a plankton. <laughs> I, I, here's the thing, Jesse. Oh my god, your, your thing just... I asked Rich. Your thing just did a thing. How do I unthink it? Uh, you have to move the mouse every once in a while. All right, all right. I guess you did just ask. I asked Rich, and so I, I. It's not like I'm not listening to you. I just, you know, I, I wanna, just came in. So I want to be fair. It doesn't matter. To Rich, because I asked him.
I'm not sure if it's the same person, but somebody said I sent it last Thursday. Do you have delivery confirmation? Yeah. No, I, sometimes it, I mean... Also, Monday was Columbus Day, so... Yeah, remember, so everything's delayed mail by a happen. few days. Yeah. So keep that in mind. Yeah. And where is it coming from? Yeah. That also matters. I know a lot about mail. You know a lot about mail? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Have you played this game much? Do you pretty much know what you're doing or no, not yet? I, I haven't gotten past like the third or fifth, the third or fourth level, the f third or fourth stage. I mean, I, I kind of understand what I'm doing, but I don't know enough to to know which is better, going to the military zone or the plankton farm. I believe the military zone has tougher enemies, but the plankton farm has more of them. See? Told you. How do people mail you stuff? They're on the bottom of the website. You gotta like scroll all the way down. There is an address for a PO box, mm -hmm. and any any weird shit you want to send us, you can send it there. And in reason. And in in theory, Jesse will pick it up, yeah. but that's just in theory. Eh, or she won't. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe she'll just take it home and and put it on her own wall, the Dick the Birthday Boy poster. Say anything. <laughs> I have to leave now. Mike, what is the name of the Jordy turning into a lizard man episode? The nth degree? Mike thinks it's the nth degree. No, 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 that's not it. That's uh, not it. That's not it. Uh, that's the Bar uh, Barkley one. Um, Jordy turning into a lizard one. Oh, shit. Jordy turning into a lizard? Yeah, we were talking about that episode. Yeah. Past something, right? Because cause it was like that his old crew, his old ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all had like uh, some sort of virus. Where yeah. They would, uh, transmit, transform into a species. That's how they uh, multiply. We were also talking about the episode where Tom Paris and Janeway turn into salamanders. Yeah. <laughs> These are things that happen? I forgot about yeah. that. And then they, the salamanders go to a planet and have salamander babies. Oh. But then they turn back into humans, and they, they're weird Do about. Do the babies it. turn into humans? No, they no. remain salamanders. They remain salamanders, but Janeway and Paris feel weird about it. Well, that's understandable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about it ever again. Nope. <laughs> so they have illegitimate salander, salamander not, babies out there in the world. No, somewhere? very, yes. very legitimate salamander. That's babies. horrible. Not illegitimate. Well, but they've they've disowned them, right? Basically. Oh, I suppose. Jay, no. salamanders don't get married. They, they were beyond salamanders, so it was an evolutionary thing. Okay. Because his DNA got hypercharged because it went past warp time. Mm. These are real things. I don't James. like the sound of any of those. <laughs> These are real things that happened in a show. Usually when you talk about the plots of Star Trek episodes, I'm like, that actually sounds interesting. I need to watch this, but uh, well, I never that's, do. That's this is the first time true. I'm like, I'm not watching that. That's salamander funny. babies? Somebody's saying identity crisis. That's it. That's it? Okay. That's definitely We have mic confirmation. That's like one of those blank generic titles. Yeah. <laughs> one of those generic titles. What season? Titles. Uh, probably three. Three or four. Mm. Yeah. One of those dumbass seasons, you know. I think it's probably... A filler season. No, three and four are not fillers. I was going to say, what is the most... Because people always say, this series was good from this season to this season. What is that for... Three, four, five. Three, yeah. Four, five is that the strongest? Yeah. It's like yeah. Three and four specifically, probably. Three and four specifically. Okay. Yeah. yeah well, are you talking about people turning into salamanders and having children on another planet and then coming back and no, no, that's Voyager. That's Voyager. Oh, Voyager. I thought that that's what you guys were talking about no. still. <laughs> and I was going to say no, that is around. dumb. <laughs> that there's, is there's super a, dumb. There's a lot For of real. dumb Voyager episodes. Yes. <laughs> How about Chakotay as the boxer episode? The boxing, the boxer is the worst episode of television. Well, that's that's, yes. that's really the epitaph of Voyager, isn't it? There were a lot of dumb Voyager episodes. <laughs> the Voyager it's, you film, know what? It started off some potential. Yeah. Yeah. They started off with potential and then they threw it out immediately. Yes. yes. There are these two disparate crews, and how will they ever work together? Oh, everybody's just Starfleet now. Yeah. Uh, Everyone gets together along just fine. Mm -hmm. There are no problems, and we're a regular Starfleet crew. Yeah. 
There are some mild problems along the way. And we're going to go on adventures in the bland zone. (laughs) (laughs) They should have never called it the bland zone. That was was the biggest problem. Yeah, the same shit's out there that we got here. (laughs) But it's where the shit started. Dun, dun, dun. But instead of Klingons, you have... What the fuck did they call them? Kazon. The Kazon. The Kazon. Oh, God. The Kazon days? Oh, I'm sorry. J- Jay ruined it. <laughs> oh, my God. I ruined the Star Trek discussion. I'm going home now. Star Trek discussion. I'm going home. Tumbleweed just split through the roof. <laughs> God. That was pretty rough, Jay. I'm fuck you guys and fuck Star Trek. I oh, no. Uh-uh. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Uh-uh. Oh. uh-uh. Hey, Nabu Felt Tower. Thank you for subscribing. We super appreciate it. I'm wearing the headphones now, and so I just heard Rich say "What the fuck" in my headphones, and it scared the shit out of me. <laughs> but but that is very helpful for telling us when subscribers are. <coughs> Jay's joke was so bad it made everybody leave. Are you taking off? Goodbye. Have a nice night. Thank you. Bye, Jesse. Goodbye. Are you going to say goodbye to everyone? Goodbye, everyone. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. You're welcome. Anytime, but I don't mean it, so bye. Ah! Okay, goodbye. (laughs) Anytime, but I don't mean it. (laughs) Oh, Jesse. Ooh, Jay's joke was so bad that I'm unsubscribing. Ah! Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta talk about things now. It's just, it's just real me. That's okay. We're gonna lose everybody. That's fine, that happens. This, this, this stream just got a thousand times yeah. worse. This, this stream is exactly how it always has been. It has ups and downs. Oh my god, just run away. Well, I have to kill him eventually. Do you have to? I mean, I assume. I guess I really don't have to. Like, what's the goal in each level here? To get to the teleport. Okay, yeah, you don't have to kill him. Just, just yeah, but let him trail behind you the whole time. He'll, he'll chase me. You're faster. What do you care? Because I, I like to, you know, I like to explore. I like to explore. There we go. It's like a sticky bomb. Did that get him? Ah, fuck! Nope. This this does look interesting. Uh, Maybe not as interesting as Pictionary. Well, but Pictionary is going to be its own special thing. I don't know, people are leaving to go play papers, please. We're so, we're entertaining them so much they want to go do paperwork. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. Virtual paperwork. I I completely agree with him. You should go play papers, please. Uh, well, you know, and um, we're not sure if Jay stays. Jay might stay, so I'm not sure, like, you know, what to talk about in the meantime. Oh, what do you want to talk about? Oh, I, you know, I talked all during your FTO, so now it's your turn. You get to oh, tell God. stories. I'm terrible. I don't tell stories you... good. <laughs> This is your job now. Me no, me no talk good. You have to tell stories now. Oh god. You get, you get, you get the important job of carrying the vocal end of the stream <sighs> while I deal with the visuals. Yeah. Go. There once was a lady from Venus. Oh my god. And she was kind of shaped like a dude. She was kind what of what? The shaped fuck? like a dude. Did this. Dick neutral. Yeah. Who just subscribed? <laughs> thank our subscriber. Who is it? Where? Where? Oh, uh, thank you, Cor Winchapman, for <laughs> subscribing. We appreciate your your patronage. Two finger scrolls. Two finger? Oh, that's weird. It make it makes perfect sense. Trackpads are unnatural. You're weird and unnatural. But I guess you knew that. Can you guys hear them? They're they're planning something in the next room over. You might be able to hear. Well, we're talking about Dick Neutral. Ah! <laughs> Everybody's talking about Dick Neutral. <laughs> uh, 
talk about how you talked your fiance into marrying a hack fraud. Ah. Uh, she's she's blind, actually. <laughs> Look, he's stuck in the corner. Oh, there you go. She thinks I look like Jackie Gleason, which is fine, because she has no idea what Jackie Gleason looks like either. Jackie Gleason? I don't know. That's a, that's a weird I, reference. This is the first fat person I could think of. <laughs> Jackie Gleason? Yeah. <laughs> the first fat person I, I thought of was Jackie Gleason. That's w I mean, that's weird. <laughs> Kevin James? Who? Uh -huh. Kevin James? I know, but I, I I would not think of Kevin James first. John Let Goodman? alone at all. Sure. True that. Alright, alright. I, I think Jackie Gleason occupies more space in my brain than John Goodman. Not that I don't like John Goodman. Sure. The Adios! Bye guys! Good night. I mean he was he was smoky. Sure. Right, scum bum. Right. I tried watching the first Smokey and the Bandit once in high school because my dad had it on VHS, mm -hmm. and it got to the opening credits, and it was some like really corny country song, and I was like, no. So I didn't get past the opening credits of Smokey. Wow. And the <laughs> wow. It was anticipated to be the highest grossing movie of the year it came out. Yeah. What movie beat it? Uh, what year was it? I'm not gonna tell you that. Well, then I don't know. Star, Star Wars. Wars? Okay. The, I was going to say, for any question like that, the answer is Star Wars. <laughs> Except for every other year in the history of film. Look, that's the only fucking piece of Smokey and the Banded trivia I know. <laughs> I don't think our audience is interested in hearing Star Wars facts. <laughs> they want to hear more about Smokey and the Bandit, I'm sure. Yeah. The only Smokey and the Bandit trivia I know, and this is because of Bill and Ted Focus Journey, but there was originally a, a, the idea, the first idea, for Smokey and the Bandit 3, which I don't think they could get Burt Reynolds back for. Uh, there is a 3, but it doesn't exist in this form. But the original yeah. idea was that it was going to be called Smokey is the Bandit, and Smokey and the Bandit would be played by the same actor. That was their original concept for the film. What? Yes. I mean, it sounds great. <laughs> Smoky. And that's a piece of information that is revealed when they're in heaven in Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey and they're playing charades. Oh yeah, with, with Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein, <laughs> someone that guesses it. Yeah. <laughs> Which is such an obscure thing, like, because I heard that in the movie. I was like, what are they talking about? And I actually looked it up later and that's what I found out. So. Well, in the movie they made, it was the snowman, the other guy. I don't was, know. Was pretending to be the bandit. I think he even had a fake mustache on him. I, I remember. Am I wrong I think about I saw that? part of the movie on cable and there was a guy with a fake Burt Reynolds mustache. Yeah. And I was like, is this what they've resorted to? Mm. But I never saw the movie. I never saw any of those movies. I didn't care. Yeah. How about that Bill and Ted 3? You know. Pointless journey. Oh, here, but here's the thing. I will. I mean, it's probably going to suck, but. The guys who wrote the first two movies are back to write it. They've okay. already written it. And the second movie is so weird that the idea of doing a third movie with them old could be weird and interesting. Okay. Okay. So I, I have very, uh, you know, I'm very hesitant about, I'm not, certainly not going to get excited about it, but it has potential because uh, there's so many weird things about that series anyway. Also, so it's not a for saying. sure thing. No, it is a for sure thing. It's not a for sure thing. Uh, Keanu Reeves just did a Reddit AMA, and they asked him about Bill and Ted's. Oh, really? And there's apparently stuff that ne hasn't been like eyes dotted, t's crossed. Okay. Last I heard, it was a sure okay. thing because it's something they've been, they've been talking about for like ten years. Yeah. It's an idea that's been floating around. There are for some a while. rights management issues that okay. have well, not yet been me. resolved. Yeah. What's Keanu doing these days? He's a like John Wick. John Wick. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is, but it's a movie. Oh, that that horribly generic looking action yeah, movie? I, I don't know anything about it. Do you mean what is famous actor Keanu Reeves doing nowadays? Whatever the fuck he wants. Using the 47 Ronin. He directed a movie about Tai Chi or something? Did he? The Man of Tai Chi? I actually he heard it was that? good. I don't know. I didn't know what you're talking about. I know he directed that. It's called The, the Man, of, uh, Man of Tai Chi. I've heard the title. He directed that. Okay. I heard it was good. Alex Winter directed a documentary <coughs> about uh, Napster. Who's Alex Winter? He's the other guy. There's Bill and there's Ted. He's Ted? Yeah. Or Bill? He's Bill. 
<laughs> Ted is Keanu Reeves. Oh, okay. Bill. Oh, great. Was it a good documentary? Yeah, it was good. That was good. And he you directed the movie Freaked. Have you not seen Freaked? Freaked? Freaked. Randy Quaid's in it. <gasps> um, no, he, well, he did, he, because he started as an actor, Alex Winter. He right. was in Bill and Ted. He was in The Lost Boys. Oh. He's in Death Wish 3. Nice. Um, and then he went on to be more of a filmmaker. He did a show for MTV called The Idiot Box, like a sketch comedy show that there was little sketches in between music videos. Uh-huh. That was weird and kind of interesting. Cool. And then he directed Freaks, which is a, got a, a kind of a cult following. It's a quality movie. It's very weird. Is that the one Ar- about freak show people? Yeah. I haven't been paying too much attention to the chant, but oh, Octo J, if there is something not cool going on in the room, you bring out that van hammer. Yeah, fuck them. I haven't been looking at the chat either, but fuck them. Why? What are they doing? I don't know. I, I just saw Octo J said not cool. Okay, yeah. Maybe, so, yeah. He's, talk- maybe he's talking about freaks. So, Octo J, if you have a problem with freaks, then I got a problem with you. Because ah! freaks is good. God, I haven't seen that in a while. Oh, it's the, so the, great. the other Bill and Ted guy. Yeah. 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 Alex Winter or uh, Keanu Reeves is actually in that movie as the dog boy. What's his He's name? Uncredited. Alex Winter. Alex Winter? Yeah. How do you feel looking at what happened to Keanu Reeves' career after being in the Bill and Ted movies with him when they were both nobodies? Yeah. How do you feel about yourself? Well, he's gone a different way. He wasn't interested in acting after a while. He became more of a filmmaker. I mean, he just did a documentary about Napster. Okay, okay. He's doing fine. So he's been doing behind-the-scenes things. Yeah, he's taken a different career path. That's fine. I'm sure he's fine. He he is fine. If nothing else, he's got that sweet Bill and Ted residual money. (laughs) But no, he, he directed Freaked, and Keanu Reeves did not. So that, in my eyes, makes him better than Keanu Reeves. The one about the freak show people or mm-hmm. oh, yeah okay. oh okay yeah then yeah octo j says we don't see things eye to eye uh Bowman. <laughs> <laughs> we don't see Keanu, eye to eye on many things m- mr t plays the bearded lady in freaks come on there's a character who has a sock <clears throat> puppet for a head that's voiced by bobcat goldthwaite oh my it's God. it's great it's I, a quality I, movie I, I haven't seen it in a long time but i remember thinking it was all right okay I, I've heard of it. I've never I've never seen it. Well, it was a movie that it was supposed to be released through 20th Century Fox. It was going to get a big release, and then I guess the, uh, the the people in charge of 20th Century Fox changed between the time they started making the movie and by the time they got the post-production. Sure. And whoever the new people that came in were like, no. <laughs> and so it just got buried. It didn't get like a wide release. I sure. think it, it may have ended up being just direct-to-video or maybe got a really, really tiny theatrical release. Was this... It was it was unseen for a long time. Was this like Clerks time? This was... Post-Clerks? <sighs> Probably a little before Clerks. I want to say it was like, or maybe right around the same time. Very early 90s. Sure. Um, so kind of like Reservoir Dogs E. Yeah, probably. I can't remember exactly. Sure. I just remember reading articles about it in Film Threat Magazine, because that was a thing, <laughs> while, it, while it was still being made. And there was an E special. Remember E? The channel E. The Entertainment Network? Yeah. I believe they used it might to do a still show. be a channel. It is, but it's completely different now. But sure. back then, they did the behind-the-scenes thing on it while it was still in production. So it's like, wow, this might be a pretty big movie. And then it just vanished. Oh. And then it finally got dumped on video. <laughs> Freaks. Freaked. Right. Freaked. As in uh, the act of turning someone into a freak. They got freaked. Freaks is also a movie Freaks about is also circus a movie. freaks. Yes, that's a movie directed by Todd Browning. That's an old movie. That's an about old black and white movie that's also pretty interesting. That's the movie I'm thinking of. Okay, no, Freaks is much, much later. <laughs> Alex Winter did not make the movie Freaks in the 1930s. Well, oh no, I didn't, I didn't <laughs> think he made it in the 1930s. I just thought maybe like, like it a was a movie that something. looked older. Or no, 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 no. Freaks is an actual old movie. Freaks is an old movie about It's a movie that killed freaks. Todd Browning's career because it was so shocking and offensive to people. Okay. Yeah. That's great. I mean, not for him, I guess. No, not for him. It's an interesting movie, though. I've heard. That's the one I've heard of. Uh, uh, That's the one I've heard of. Can we? Jay, Rich, whoever, what's the worst day of shooting you've ever had and why? Ooh. Oh, man. I would really have to think about that. I've had so many. <laughs> Wait, is it every day? Every day. Okay. I remember one of our one of our old high school movies. Um, I was playing a, a, a bounty hunter. 
and my costume consisted of black boots, oh, black uh, yeah. black jeans, black sweatshirt, a vest, a black overcoat, and a helmet. And we were filming outside during a heat wave. <laughs> I I I would like take the helmet off, and I would literally like pour the sweat out. Ugh, that sounds awful. Yeah. And that was for something that nobody would ever see because we were still in high school. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, oh, someone mentioned Gorilla Interrupted. Is that the worst? For... No, I don't think that's the worst for me because I was the one that didn't get sick. Everybody Gorilla? else got sick. Gorilla was mercifully quick, but I guess they're asking for the best, worst day. The so. worst day. It's the worst single day of shooting. Oh, man. I guess, does I it have know. to be day or just like... Worst ex- shooting like experience, maybe? Or, answer, yeah. answer it however you would like. It's, it's an interesting discussion. All right. I'm trying to I think. Because I, I, I'm miserable a lot when we <laughs> shoot. <laughs> I really, I don't have fun when we're, like, when we're doing a larger shoot. I usually get stressed out and annoyed at everything. Um, I'm trying to think of the worst shoot. It might be the Recovered. There was one sh- day of shooting on the Recovered where we shot for like... 14, 15 hours straight. Oh, man. And it was down uh, in the middle of nowhere. It was like a 90-minute drive outside of Milwaukee. So we finished shooting at like 3 in the morning and then still had to drive back to Milwaukee. Oh. That was pretty terrible. That was just, just like fatigued and hungry and tired. So maybe that one. Remember we did the Evil Dead episode of Half in the Bag. I that was, was a long day, I was too. covered with all kinds of fluids and yeah. fake blood, and it was all day, and was that was that in winter, too? Was it cold out? No, I don't think so. Or was when I just... Evil Dead remake Was out? I just ice cold because I was covered in all kinds of fluids? It might have been that. But that was also when the smoke alarm went off in the studio. Yes! Which I didn't even know a fog machine could do this, but the fog machine set up the smoke alarm, and we couldn't get it to stop. So that was a nightmare. That was a, that was a long day, yeah. Well, that wasn't a lot of. That was a long that, day, right? and I was only here for like half of it. Yeah, you showed up halfway through, and we were. The fire still department going. didn't show up, did they? No, no, no. we we um, we got the thing to shut off finally, but it took some doing. Jack, what? Do you have a response? Do you have a worst day. Worst shoot? day. Oh my god. Uh, you know what was a really bad day of shooting? Not my worst day of shooting, but what was a really bad day was when some people that I know had me be a zombie in a movie called Feeding Feeding. <laughs> <laughs> now, I am here to help. I am always here to help. <laughs> my problem um, with Feeding Frenzy is they, I, I was Larry, the, the zombie son of Mr. Plinkett. Mm-hmm. And Jay had me show up, I'm going to say late morning, early afternoon, for the shoot. And immediately I went into full zombie makeup. Yes. I did not shoot for maybe five hours after. <laughs> and so I'm, I'm in full zombie makeup, including my hands. <laughs> I can't help with the cameras because I can't touch anything. I can't read a book or play on my phone or I can't do anything because my everything is covered in zombie makeup. Uh, and so I was incredibly bored. <laughs> yeah, you're just like sitting on the stairs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that entire shoot, the entire Feeding Frenzy shoot was us underestimating how long everything would take. Yeah. I, I every remember, every single day was twice as long as we expected it to be. Yeah, I remember one day I spent almost the entire time sitting outside because we were filming at a house where they had a cat. Yeah. So I came yeah, in, that was bad. filmed my, my line as quickly as I could, <laughs> and ran outside until it was time for my next take. Yeah. Oh, man. Also, hello, Hellelos. How are you doing? <laughs> Somebody wanted me to say hi. 